What's up guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to Shamrock and welcome to a vlog video series. My name is Jimmy and I have purchased three grass meadows just over the road there. And um, basically it's going to be for sheep. Um, but there is no storage there. There is no, there's no house. There's no nothing at the minute. So we are staying at the local pub. We are renting a room here. And um, we have got our little Fiat here. So this is our only tractor that we have at the moment. So we're going to get into this because what I want to do is I want to drive down to the fields and I want to start cutting. Alright, so here we are in the field. And we are going to turn this around because I need to be... I can actually just put that, push that out there while I'm just turning this around because there's nothing in our way. Yes, we're going to be as close up to this hedge line as physically possible. So we might scratch the old uh, paintwork a bit, but uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. I have a kind of a spotless tractor all the time. Oh, there we go. Right, let's lower that down there. Turn her on. And let's get going. So we're going to go around here. We're going to do a, um, this headland... And then what we'll do is we'll drive round on the sort of the the, the, the mown grass that we are um, creating here. And um, sort of come back on ourselves so we can cut up as close to the hedge as possible just so we're not um, kind of losing anything. I mean it's a bit rough and ready around the edges but there'll be, there'll be some there that we can actually sort of uh, mow up and use. So, as I said, I think the first um, the first time here we are going to be selling what we're going to be using here. So we'll just sell it as we'll probably sell it as hay bales. I would say would be the easiest thing to do. Um, but it's going to need Ted and a wind rowing. Um, but pretty much, I am I am set up for for grass work. Um, you know, that, that is what I have, but I do just need a, I need to have a shed erected, um, just so I can put my gear in it. Um, at the moment we are storing it, um, behind the shop at the minute, so we are just leasing a little bit of, um, space from those guys, and, um, we can uh, head over there and, and, and collect it whenever we want. So, um, but I would like a shed somewhere, but it's just trying to find somewhere so that we can actually put it where it's not going to be in the way and it's not going to cause too much bother. I don't care too much about putting it on a concrete base or anything like that. I'm happy to park it on the grass. So, you know, I don't want to spend out too much money um, for now um, while we're... Um, Sort of just starting out as such but what we're going to do is we're going to go around and do one more one more trip around here I think pop that down there there we go so yeah so this is really going to it's all going to be about um, sort of grass and uh, sheep. I think is a is a big thing that's going to be going to be coming from here. So, but I would like to have like a. You can hear the train. There she is. Look at that. And that, guys and girls, is 
the reason I chose these fields. Look at that for a sight. Look at it. Lovely. It's perfect, I tell you, perfect. So, yeah, so as I was saying, it's going to be mainly about sort of about grass. Grass work and uh, looking after the sheep. Sheep are fairly easy to look after as long as they've got um, something to eat and something to drink. They they, they, they should be perfectly fine. Um, and obviously they will produce be producing uh, wool, which we can sell on as well. So it's all good fun. It's all good fun, hopefully. And uh, you never know where we might be leading from this as well. Um, you know, I've, um, I'm kind of... It's, it's kind of cool living or renting a room from uh, at the pub because I get to meet everybody, you know. Um, and I've already kind of introduced myself to a few local farmers and uh, they've sort of said, oh, you know, it's handy to know you're about. So if they need anything, I said, yep, happy. would be happy. Uh, more than happy to help out, that's for sure. So, but um, yeah. So as I said, really the only, the only things that we've got, um, equipment-wise, obviously we have the Fiat here. Um, I have a, um, a tedder, a windrower, a baler, and a wrapper. Um, and I am in talks of getting a um, a flatbed trailer and um, all the other thing that we own as well is some uh, front forks um, front loader and front forks so they're, they're the things that uh, that we own at the moment um, I don't think I've forgotten anything so but it is it's a trailer that we need um, to uh, get uh, to transport stuff about but um, if I need to lease one to start with then that's what I'll do um, but I should have enough money to buy one I think hopefully so anyway guys how are we all I do hope you're all uh, you're all well so I am really looking forward to putting these videos out it's um such a lovely area to be working in it really is nice and uh, hopefully bit by bit I mean this is quite a it's quite a big area as well so I am hoping that uh, we can expand ourselves and start start having a really good look around the area that would be really nice because it's such a nice such a nice area to be to have a look around so right I think what we're going to do now here we are going to cut this field in half I think um, there's going to be a corner area there so let's come down to here so we, we kind of sacrifice a piece of grass here um, what we're going to go over the top of so but um, it's not going to be too bad so let's drop that down let's head for that tree so we can try and keep it as straight in a straight line as possible and then we'll work outwards um, from from here so as I said just sacrificing a little bit a little bit of grass here we're going to flatten down but not too bothered not overly worried. We'll try and keep this as straight as possible. Not sure that was straight, but oh no, it's not looking too bad actually. Not looking too bad at all. Go, and then we'll come round back into here. Straighten her up like so. Drop it down again. And 
and away we go. We can start. Start mowing down here. As you can see, it's it's, it's cutting the grass, so we do need to definitely need to Ted and Windrow. So I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to like sell this as as hay or whether we'll actually bale it and uh, bale it, wrap it, and sell it as silage. That would make the most sense, make us the most money. Um, so, but I want to aim for the first maybe a hundred sheep. Oops, let's put that back a bit. So, if we can go for a hundred sheep, that'd be uh, that'd be a good start, and then we can try and progress progress from there. A hundred sheep should, um, you know, we've 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 got enough area here to to be cutting. Um, so we can um, easily maintain those um, but um, I do need actually I do need a water trailer I just realised I do not have a water trailer so um, we'll see actually we'll see um, and at some point as well we are going to have to look at getting ourselves a another tractor as well so not quite sure which one what we're going to go for but uh, we will we will need a second tractor so maybe maybe silage is is the way forward maybe so but we're getting on with this we are cracking through this it's uh, not taking as long as i as i was thinking make sure we don't clip any hedges or anything once we get sort of through a bit so we can just sort of we don't have to keep reversing then so that we can crack on a lot a lot quicker I think but there we go but right well speaking of cracking on I'm going to get a little bit more more of this done and I will speak to you all very very soon so guys, here we go, look I have been cracking on through and uh, the bottom part of this is nearly done. I've been sort of doing a bit, bit, bit top, bit bottom and uh, we seem to be, uh, as I said, cracking through. So looks like we're just gonna have to come back along here as well but the top bit was a little bit wider than the bottom part because the because of the way the field is um, uh, the shape of the field so but this off here is having no bother whatsoever getting this cut that's for sure out close to that and hopefully we can grab that entire section not too worried if we miss a little bit I think that's probably more than a little bit what we're gonna do is we're just gonna nip up and finish that top cut it shouldn't take us much more than a few minutes there we go let's head up get this little bit up here done as you'll be able to see it's um a bit, a bit of an, a bit of an odd shape up here, but it really won't take us long. Oh, let's get that cut there. So you'll pretty much know what's going to be happening. Um, so it's going to be, I'm going to vlog each, um, each stage. I think is what I'm going to do. So there'll be this will be a vlog for obviously for mowing, and uh, we will also have a vlog for uh, for tedding it and rowing it. So um, you know, baling it, collecting it, that kind of stuff, selling it. Um, so some are going to be kind of long, longish videos or vlogs, and some will be 
extremely short. Um, so, but I think, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. We're so nearly done. You don't really need to see the completion of it. So you can pretty much see we're nearly there anyway. So, guys, that's going to be it from me. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to please leave a like, share this video, and subscribe to Gamer Dragon, who has been kind enough to allow me to send him my videos and he uploads them onto his channel. So please share the love and uh, go and uh, subscribe to the channel, and that way you can see anything that he puts out, and also you can get to see anything that I release also. So guys, as I said, that's going to be it from me. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers then, guys. Take care. <laughs>